Hi guys, we are starting a new project today. Um, I'm gonna use a white glitter, my custom mixed glitter. I'm gonna apply it with Mod Podge. And I'm going to tint the Mod Podge with some paint for both sides, but um, Oh jeez, I just spilled something. I'm going to use the Apple Barrel Laguna and white. I only want to do like half of the cup in any given section, so. I'm gonna start kinda light on my paint. And I don't need a perfectly straight line. I'm gonna take my glitter and just slather it on. Um, the white I'm going to use is no longer available, so it doesn't really matter, but it is just a white with a little bit of silver mixed in, so that's what I have for that. So I'm going to let this sit for just a couple minutes and dry while I go pick out some kind of color that's going to work with this and I will be back. Okay, so I grabbed my minty teal from It's Pretty Personal and I'm going to take first my blue paintbrush and I'm going to run just a little bit of color over this transition line. This is not fully dry, obviously. Okay. I'm going to set that brush aside again and grab my white one again. And the white I'm going to blend in a little bit thicker. I'm going to add some more white to cut it down even further. I have a white Mod Podge and paint spilling on my table. And then I'm just going to sprinkle back over with the white. Okay. So, I got a little chunky spot there, but it's fine. I am going to let this dry absolutely thoroughly. All right, so I'm, I'm going to turn this into a Milky Way at this point. I put on about 20 mLs of resin and now I'm going to mix up mica powders into small cups. So I have teal. I'm going to use a good popsicle scoop of that. 
And these are just those cheapy ones from Amazon. And I have a white from the same kit that I already put in the cup. And I'm just going to mix that in. And I don't think I'm going to add any inks or anything else to these two. I'm just going to run them as is. I just got mica on my cup. I do that all the time. So. mica. I'm going to run a band of mica along the edge. I'm going to get some across the bottom. I'm just going to run one strip of white down the middle. Now it's kind of evened up. And I'm going to make sure I get some teal on the bottom. So, I'm not going to put too much heat to it. I'm just going to use the torch and let it just break up a little bit. And that is running further than I would like there. So I'm going to switch the direction. Maybe. I think. I'm just going to tilt it for a second. I'm going to grab a stick and pull that back some. I'm going to drag it down a little bit. Make sure the bottom's got a little bit of a swirl going on. All right, so I'm gonna let it dry and then come back when it is ready for its water slides. Okay, I am ready to decal this one. So, this is getting my signature turtles on it. Um, it's going to get five of them. So, I'm just going to jump in. I have a little dish here. I have some water. I use bottled water for my water slides, generally speaking, because um, we have a well and very hard water or for anybody's water slides. So I'm going to go ahead and soak my little turtles. Kind of in the order they're going to go in. They're on. In. And they're just going to kind of go down the white spot. That was the intention of the cup. So I'm going to cup damp. So these guys should be ready to go. So there's my first one. I'm not going to be able to fully position them until I get them all on. And I'm going to leave them positioned like that. And this is all this cup is going to get. It's not going to get anything else. Just the little turtles. I'm not going to put a saying on the back side or anything. If this was going to somebody, I would probably put their name. 
over the back side, but it's not, so. I may end up holding on to this one as part of a giveaway. I haven't decided yet. I'm um, kind of starting to gear up for the next giveaway. I haven't really decided what I want to do with it. So, but I'm kind of thinking about um, and I'm still a ways off yet on a giveaway, like quite a ways off. Um, but I'm kind of, kind of tossing around, um, I know this is my book that's got that typo, but I'm kind of thinking, um, the book, a little pen holder and one of my pens with my signature glitter filled in it. Um, I know it's got the typo, but, and it may be one without the typo by the time I get to a giveaway. But I'm kind of thinking about, you know, like, this set as a giveaway at some point here. So, um, I am definitely, like, this one that's actually in my hand with the typo. Um, this set, as you see it here, this pen clip, um, and this exact pen will be going in a random box from my sale but I will get to that when we get to the sale video but so that particular copy is definitely going in a giveaway but back to this one I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to get it under a coat of resin so I will be back for that um, I do not know where these turtles came from <laughs> um, I could find my license key if I had to but it's like three computers back because I've been using this image for a decade now. So, um, I can't give you a direct link to this particular turtle right now. But there's tons of watercolor turtles out there if you're looking for something to do something similar. So, I'll be back when we're ready for resin. Okay, we are ready to get our coat of epoxy on our turtles here. I think what I'm going to do with this is put it in the sale. And then if it doesn't sell in the sale, I will hold it for a giveaway or something. Or send it to retail. Whatever. But I think I'll put it in the sale first. So... I think it's super cute. I just can't keep another tumbler. <laughs> there you go. My signature turtle on a glitter marble. Kind of split because it's half white or a third white, whatever. But there they are. I love it. I think it's adorable. So, that is it, and I thank you for watching.